Good morning. Hello. I want to share with you the first of two activities that we have prepared for you to help celebrate our Harvest Festival at New North Road Baptist Church today. And to share in the first activity, I want to show you a cross. It's a beautiful cross that comes from a country called El Salvador. And if you have a globe or an atlas or a map on the wall that shows you all the countries of the world, you may want to find El Salvador and discover where it is. I'll give you one clue. It's a very small country between North and South America. So go searching for it, pause the video, and when you come back, I'll tell you more about this cross. The cross was gifted to everyone at New North ba Road Baptist Church, to our family, by the family of someone called Irene Mee, who lived in Huddersfield and completed her life here on earth last year. And the family of Irene Mee have given the family of New North Road Baptist Church this cross to remember her. And it comes from El Salvador, a nation where Irene's son David and his family lived for a while. And I hope that you can see that it's bright and colourful and beautiful. And in the centre of the cross, you can see a woman. And this is a real woman, a picture of a woman whose name was Maria Cristina Gomez. And it celebrates the life that she led. So I want to show you the different parts of the cross. On this side, you can see her teaching children at a table out of doors with the houses with their red roofs behind her. And on this side, you can see her nursing a baby, a very small child cradling that child in her arms. Here, you can see her out of doors in a field ploughing. There is a plough in her hands that is pulled by these cattle. So she was a woman with real strength in her body, her legs and her arms. You need to plough a field so that you can plant a crop and it will grow. And behind her you can see the high green hills trees and the light of the sun. And below her, you can see her harvesting fruit from a tree. Here is the basket and there is the machete that she would have used for cutting the branches. And below that, here she is teaching at a blackboard with children in a classroom. And at the centre, she is standing with her arms lifted up in welcome or embrace. I think this cross is wonderful. It's a great, great gift. And it's a great gift for the family of New North Road Baptist Church 
for you and me to receive at harvest time. So for your first activity, I want you to create a cross of your own. So first of all, you need to draw the shape of a cross on a sheet of paper, or better still, a card. And then you may need an adult to come and cut the shape of the cross for you with a pair of scissors. Like that. And then you can draw. Now, I don't know how many pencils you have. I love pencils. Do you see how many pencils I have here? So many colours, all the colours of the rainbow. So I love to draw. But I'm not a brilliant artist, as you will see. But here is what I have drawn. So here is the house that I live in. And here is a drawing of Trish and of me. And in our garden, we have an apple tree. And you can see I have drawn rosy red apples growing on our tree. We also have really tall roses. Now the roses have thorns, but they also have beautiful flowers. And when I'm outdoors in the garden, I wear my green welly boots. You can see I've drawn them here and I use different tools in the garden. And here is the fork that I use for turning the soil over when I'm planting potatoes or harvesting potatoes or clearing weeds. And last of all, because wherever you go in Huddersfield, you can see a castle on a hill. You can see Castle Hill. I have drawn Castle Hill. Now, I'm sure that you can draw much more creatively than me and that your drawings will be fascinating. But that is your first activity, your Harvest Thanksgiving to draw a picture of your life on a cross, remembering that a cross is a symbol of God's love for us through Jesus. And then you can offer your cross to God like a prayer, an act of harvest thanksgiving. Goodbye.